Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna be doing a get ready with me. And I'm obviously ready already. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna be telling you guys like all about my tea that I gotta spill because I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions and I got a bunch, spilled some tea, did my makeup, put on a cute outfit, show you guys my accessories and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. Let's go ahead and get started with the brows first. I'm gonna get my brows done like as soon as all of this is over because girl this is really bad. <laughs> so um like I mentioned I went on Instagram and I asked you guys like a bunch to ask me questions, like a bunch of questions, different kinds, like whatever you guys wanted to know. So somebody asked if I was actually pregnant, so you guys don't know i have like a main channel with my fiance and we do like pranks and challenges and stuff like that so um i did like an april fool's prank on him that i was pregnant and everyone thought i was pregnant and believed it but no i'm not pregnant um you know only have one baby she's turning 10 months and it's crazy how fast like time is going because she's almost a year like what the hell where is time going somebody asked if i was on birth control and i am not on birth control um i don't, I don't plan on going back ever on birth control I just feel like birth control really like i don't know really messes up with your body i don't know. i personally don't like it i don't think i ever want to go back to it so I am not on birth control, we're just like, you know, using protection and stuff, but hell no. Birth control literally messes up me, like messes me up so bad. I was on birth control for like, I don't know, I guess like two, three years. And when I got off, like it was so hard for me to get my period, like my period's already messed up. So with the birth control, it goes back to like, you know, every... Um, month having my period and stuff like that that's the only good thing about it honestly but apart from that like I don't even think it's worth it <laughs> like I don't know after I had Alejandra sh I've had my period twice and I haven't gotten it anymore so that's how bad my <laughs> my periods are I think I haven't gotten my I haven't gotten my period since I don't know like January yeah, like January, February was the last time I got my period. It was definitely January. January was the last time. So I haven't gotten my period in months. And I've taken like a bunch of tests because at first I thought I was pregnant, but I'm I'm obviously not pregnant. Like oh, I think I would have been showing by now and my all of my tests are negative. So I'm definitely not pregnant, it's just like my period so messed up I think eyebrows are definitely like the most important thing in my face like it, it makes such a difference when you have your brows done eyes are ready to go in with some eyeshadow and I'm gonna start off with like a very light transition color and one of the questions you guys asked was in my teenage years did i ever like rebel against my parents and like sneak out of the house and i personally never snuck out of the house surprisingly like <laughs> i actually the only person i would sneak in was <laughs> my boyfriend which is my fiance now um my mom had like a night job so when she wasn't at home I was taking care of my little sister and when she would knock out I would bring my boyfriend over I would tell him hey like I'm alone or whatever and he would like come and he would park the car like super far <laughs> like the other block and walk to my house with like a hoodie on like it was like like literally like movie type shit <laughs> and my mom never never found out or my sister I mean my sister found out like probably like a few days ago because we told her but you know she didn't know when she was little. i mean she was like nine or ten 
I was like, you have to go to sleep early. You know, you can't um, be up late because you have school, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. It was like crazy. I, I really don't know what the hell was in my mind. But nobody ever found out. Okay, so we are now going in with a darker color. And I'm so scared. Um, I kind of want to do like, like a reddish, like cranberry type of thing. Um, but I'm not sure because I've actually never done a. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. Let's just go and see what I end up doing. I'm gonna go in with like a burgundy color. Somebody asked, um, apart from Alejandra's name, like we chose Alejandra as her name, what other names were we planning on naming her? And honestly, I was I thought we had a name before I was pregnant and then when I actually got pregnant we had to name her it was like a hundred times harder like I don't know we were so picky with the name and I literally would go on the internet search up like a bunch of lists of names for girls and I didn't like anything and I was like, I don't know I don't know what we're gonna name her and then I told my mom and my uh, mother-in-law to search up like names for me or you know so we had um, Amy as one of the choices and I actually really liked Amy and then I don't know somehow I kind of got like out of it for some reason I don't even remember I still like the name but I don't know it just didn't fit her and like I thought like you know like you know mom stuff so I was like okay we're not gonna name her Amy I don't know what else um and then my fiance he was like why don't we name her Alejandra and then I, at first I was like hell no we're not gonna name her Alejandra because his name is Alejandro so I, I was like what about me like I'm just gonna be like you know not gonna be in like the whole name thing so then um I was like hell no we're not gonna name her Alejandra after you know everybody kept joking around oh let's call her Alejandra hi Alejandra like they would talk to my stomach and call her Alejandra after like a while it just like there was no name that I could call her apart from Alejandra so I was like it's Alejandra like there's no way that I'm like I can't think of any other name like the other, only name that suits her is Alejandra so um we had Amy I know we had another name but I don't remember right now and I don't know we just kept going back and forth and nobody like I know it's like it was only my decision and Alejandro's but I would always ask like my mom and my mother-in-law for like their opinion and stuff and it just stayed as Alejandro and I actually love Alejandro and when she was born like for me she just, like fit as Alejandro I'm like that's it her name is Alejandra and the baby shower everything you know like there was no way I was getting out of Alejandro and I actually really really like the name hey you guys like the number one question was regarding my V card and I was like oh my god you guys are, like want me to go like deep deep into my life um but I actually lost my V card to my fiance it's the only person I've ever been with like he's like that's like that never happens nowadays which is kind of weird like i like my first boyfriend ended up being like my fiance and everything like that's insane um but yeah i lost my v card really young honestly like i was like you know what like i say like it's my v card i want to do it like i love him and he loves me so fuck it i'm gonna do it and i lost my v card when i was 15 okay 15 so like don't come at me and yeah I don't regret it honestly it's not even like a big deal like in my opinion like I honestly don't think it's like a big deal it's just your v card if you want to lose it to that person then go for it you get me somebody's asking um how many more kids do you and Alejandro want to have so I personally want to have we've decided that we want to have one or two more um it just depends because we do eventually want to have like a boy so if the next one that we have is a boy then we're just gonna stay there and if not we're gonna have and try, try another one not that we don't want another girl but we do want to experience like the whole um like the difference between having a girl and a boy so that's what we're going for who knows since we had our kids like super young let's say the next one is a boy and then in a few years we might try again and have another girl or a boy or whatever 
but I think two or three kids is good just because you could pay like attention to them and show them your love and stuff like that like I feel when you have too many kids you can't really like pay attention and give them like everything that you want to give them because there's so many of them and babies take up a lot of attention like way more than I thought so you guys want to know um, how I met Alejandro and I could like I think I want to do a video with him like a boyfriend tag but you know I'll do like now I'll tell you guys how we met so um we met like okay so we I was like at this place um so I was at this like dance place it was like like I don't even know it's not like a club it's like a bar but like not a okay I don't know how to explain it because it sounds like so bad when I say it but I don't know it was like this like dance place and I went with my family I was with my cousin my mom my sister and Alejandro was there but I had no idea who Alejandro was like like I've never even seen him like nothing like that and he was with a friend and that friend followed me on Instagram but I didn't even know that friend either so um we were there and I was dancing and I don't know I guess I don't know, I caught Alejandro's attention or something. <laughs> and the next day, um, he like sends me a message through Kick. I don't know if you guys even remember Kick or know what Kick is, but like whatever. It was like this like message thing. And he sends me a message saying, Hey, like I saw you last night or whatever. And then I was like, Oh cool. Um I had no idea who he was, so I was like, give me your Instagram. And then I followed him on Instagram. And we were just like, you know, text each other through there. And then, I don't know, we just kept on talking or whatever. And then we decided to actually meet in person like a month after. And we went to like a concert um, at a park. And I went with my mom, my friend, my sister. And we were there. We, I was there waiting for him. It took forever to get there. And... Then he appeared and we met like obviously hidden from my mom. Like I didn't tell my mom that I was gonna meet a guy because if not my mom was not gonna take me. <laughs> so we were there and he's like, hey, like he came and he's like, hi, how are you? Whatever. And he was like, oh my god, you're so short. And he like tapped my head or something. And I was like, really? Like that's the only thing you're gonna tell me that I'm short. And then he just went and he kissed me, like if he knew me from like 10 years ago, I was like, what the hell? Um, and then after that, he like went with his group of friends and I went with like my family or whatever. And he kept like trying to come and dance with me, but he was scared of like my mom or something, I don't know. <laughs> so then um, after like, you know, going back and forth from like group to group or whatever, we danced together and we like, you know kiss and you know the whole shenanigans <laughs> and then that's it after that day um he thought that we were together i was like um absolutely not if you want me to be your girlfriend you have to <laughs> to ask me to be your girlfriend so a few days later i think like five days later i was at the mall and i was like hey you want to come to the mall so we can hang out or whatever and he went to the mall and he we went to like a little churros thing at the mall and he ordered churros and of course i didn't eat because i was so shy so um after like a while of being he's like hey i gotta ask you a question i already knew it was coming so i was like freaking out i was like oh my god how do i say it? do i say yes do i say yeah do i say um okay like i didn't know what to say like the correct wording <laughs> so then he's like he grabbed my hand and mind you my freaking hands sweat when i get nervous i was like oh my god he's gonna grab my hands and he's gonna like literally not ask me to be his girlfriend because <laughs> they're sweaty so he's gonna be like ill this girl's so weird um but no he, he grabbed my hand and he was like hey um i want to ask you <laughs> if you want to be my girlfriend and i was like yeah like i just said yeah but i said it's so weird i guess and then he's like okay and then it was like a little awkward and then he just like i think we kissed and that's it <laughs> then we just like talked and then from there on 
I don't know we just like he came to my house I went to his house and here we are six years later almost six years later our anniversary is coming up in a few our anniversary is in July so almost foundation do I use and I use the Estee Lauder double wear and my shade is cashew um I really like this foundation because it has like a lot of coverage but it's not full coverage so you could use it like an everyday kind of thing you could even use it like if you're gonna go like to an event or something if you don't want full coverage I personally have never owned a full coverage foundation i don't know i want to get one but like i don't know i don't know which one to go into so if you guys have like any recommendations on which one i should get let me know in the comments section i always reply to you guys um especially in the first hour of a coin live so I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and this is Light Medium Sound. Okay, now let's go in with some bronzer. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and this is in the shade Bronze. these fluffy brushes to contour my nose and with some translucent powder actually let's go in with blush first I'm gonna use this Sephora hysterical blush This little brush is kind of like fluffy but really small. And going to the bottom of my lash line. I'm using my Fatty B lashes. This is the saucy um, style, and I am excited. These are like my favorite lashes at the moment. I've tried a couple, but honestly, these are super cute wait for these to dry i'm gonna be adding some highlighter i'm gonna go in with my ofra highlighter this is in the shade star island today for some reason because i always go overboard so let's try to pop on these lashes now switch into my outfit since we are gonna get ready from head to toe my hair is already done so that's why i didn't film it for you guys but let's go ahead and change hey right, guys so i am back 
I got some cute top on and of course some accessories because they make a big difference in your outfit and today's sponsor is Ana Luisa which is obviously the jewelry brand that I am wearing so they reached out to me a few weeks ago and they sent me over some jewelry pieces and I have these earrings on which is from them and they're, they're super cute they're like these knots um and i got this necklace which is a star necklace and it's so cute with the knots i think it makes such a cute combo with this outfit and i also received these hoops which have like some little pearls and they're really really cute i'm gonna leave these for another outfit that i have planned <laughs> so um Annalisa is a jewelry company um they're super great like they have so many good things about them okay, first of all their jewelry starts off by $39 which is such a good price for jewelry that's super good quality it's gonna last you a long time and all of their gold items are made of recycled gold which is awesome they're all earth friendly their packaging is earth friendly as well it's from recycled plastics and stuff like that they reached out to me and they sent me over these pieces and of course i got you guys with little hookup i'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the description just in case you want to go and check them out you could buy some pieces for yourselves or you could go ahead and gift them to someone especially now that mother's day is coming up this is such a cute mother's day present and they're having a mother's day sale where you buy one of the pieces and you get the other one for 35 percent off it's such a good deal your moms are gonna love it your aunts your grandmas whoever you want to give them to um for yourselves if you want and yeah i really really like the whole accessories with the outfit it makes such a big difference and this one's so simple but it's so cute 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 that's much it for today's video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure you go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down if you want to see a part two another chit chat get ready with me make sure you go ahead and follow my social media so you stay up to date when i ask you guys to ask me questions for example like today's video or i post regarding what i'm uploading and stuff like that so don't forget to subscribe with your post notifications on and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys